in my studio, which is more of a creative workspace, is what I call it. A lot of the photographs and, and, and posters are things that I've kind of gotten from my travels. I try to make it feel homey and a loose environment because I'm here to create, you know? I'm old, so I've done, I've, you know, I've been a part of a lot of records. Um, you know, I've been lucky to work with some mainstream artists from, you know, like Coldplay, of course, and Seal and Alanis Morissette. And here is uh, my control room. This has a lot of different computers and keyboards and some original Korg Electribes, which are really fun. And I have an original lemur there. I use the, the lemur app now on the iPad, which is great. So this is something that um, is a prize for me. This actually is kind of a prize. <laughs> My Novation X Station, which um, is now a little museum piece. But this is kind of a, a prize to me because it's really a good synth. It's an audio engine as well. And here I have my live setup. I've got my trusted Ultranova here and my uh, 25SL Mark II uh, controller. And I've got my launch pad and I've got a Sapphire Pro 24 audio interface. I configured it uh, in the software custom so I can use it as a DJ interface as well. So I can AB, which is really comes in handy. And I also have my iPad lemur, the clip launcher and EQ, and I've made some custom apps and keyboards. And the one thing that is a must for me using gear on the road is the bus power. You're on a stage during a festival, you have no sound check, boom, boom, boom. My Mark II, the Ultra Nova, the Pro 24, the launch pad, all bus powered on my laptop. That's a big deal. The launch pad, I'm using it like a monom, which is more of an instrument. So I'm, I, in Ableton, chopped up vocal parts and various things and made an instrument out of it so I can use it as a performance tool because I just think it's cool. The Nocturne, the launch pad, and the Pro 24, I can fit in my backpack. And I calculate this of you know, what I can carry and what I can roll. So the Novation stuff has been really travel savvy for me. I was sort of schooled in the mid 80s in learning, you know, recording and learning proper consoles and stuff. And as much as I'm very into vintage and more authentic things, I'm not a purist at all. And I despise that actually. I get angry when people dog on technology as a crutch. It's not the gear, it's a tool. Just because you buy Pro Tools, you're not a record producer, just like you don't buy Photoshop and you're an art, you know, an art director or a designer or something like this. I look at newer technology as inspiring to me. And when I hear young people make these records with just a laptop and a sampler and a controller or something, it really inspires me.